time to beat my stabbing on. Ha <laughs> ha! Ha ha! Yeah! Oh. Oh. What happened? I'm losing my mind. I just wake up and the knife is all bloody. I don't, I don't know. Hello, chaps. Wolfgore here, and welcome back to Fallout 4, one quest at a time. So what are we going to be doing in today's episode? Well... Oh, hey, Codsworth. I haven't seen you in a while, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Sheffield. How's, uh, how's life in Sanctuary? Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. Yeah, you're welcome, buddy. Uh, we saved Sheffield here in the last episode. Uh, all he really needed in life was a Nuka Cola and a place to stay, and we provided him. So now he's staying with us in Sanctuary. He's going to be helping out on our farm. But that was the last episode. So in today's episode, I noticed this little quest that we picked up a while back when we were working with uh, Nick, Valentine, and Ellie. And uh, I've offered to help Nick and Ellie find out what happened to Earl Sterling, a bartender at the Dugout Inn. I need to find a way into Earl's home, see if I can turn up any clues to his whereabouts. So we're going to be heading over to Diamond City to take care of this here quest. And I've never done this before. I don't know the first or last thing about it. So this should be fun. Let's just make sure our let's just make sure our inventory is all cleared out. It is not. <laughs> all right, inventory clear. We have plenty of carry weight. Let's head off to Diamond City. I will see you chaps there in a moment. Hey, I think those Bobrov brothers are looking for you. The Bobrov brothers. Oh my. Thanks. Hey, it looks like we picked up another quest. Fine by me. Everybody's coming out to work in the morning. That's fun. Ever been up in the stands? Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. Hmm. Interesting. So, uh, we have two quest objectives. One is telling us to go out into the dugout inn, and this other one must be Earl Sterling's house. And we could pick that lock. But it is technically stealing at this point, so why don't we see what's in the dugout in first? Okay, in the dugout in. Oh, that is a lovely moose right there. Nope, nope, come on, come on. Give me my thumbnail. Oh, yeah. Nothing says Fallout 4 like a moose You'll find in the thumbnail. Very oh, here we go. <laughs> Quiet. Hey, what's up, buddy? All right, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. Uh, yeah, pretty yeah, much. pretty bad. This is what I tell you, Pete. Something must be done. Radio is bad for business. Makes customers unhappy. Either we have unhappy customers listening to bad DJ, or we have no music and customers have boredom. But, Tim... It's true! Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Whoa. Uh, uh, seriously? Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. <laughs> First, you get him to follow you out of town. All right, that's enough. My dim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Yeah. Um <laughs> I mean I'm down to change the the music, but killing the guy, that's a bit extensive. Okay. What's really going on here? Sorry, we was just joking around a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job, or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm really curious, if we were to go back and agree to kill him, if that would have actually changed what we needed to do for the quest. But, uh... We can't know at this point, so let's... Hmm... Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. 
This is what I'm telling you, Fim. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Hmm. Sketchy. No, I don't. I don't have time for this. I'm. I'm doing other things, buddy. All right. So we have disappearing act. Selected, right? We don't have two selected. All right. I guess they just wanted to talk. That's fine. He can uh, wait for me in that room until such a time as I am ready. Need a room. But we need to find that guy's house key, I think. And it should be somewhere here in the inn. It's this. Okay. Oh. New call, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history lesson. No. Where am I supposed to Hi go? There. You can order drink. Hi, Scarlet. Miss? I'll take your order whenever you're ready. Um. Did you work with Earl Sterling at all? Don't get me involved in any of that. Look, Vadim may have cared about Earl, but he was just the bartender to me. That's all I know. Uh, anyway, I gotta get back to serving drinks. Hmm. I'll take a look, sure. Take a look. Take, uh... Do you have any whiskey? I'll take a whiskey. Thanks. Thanks for the info. You're clearly hiding something, but in a way, that tells me something. What do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother. Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? Right. Believe he is capable of more. You know what works well for this? <laughs> a bar fight. Ever been in one? So many. Haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. Excellent! Because you are going to help Travis win his first fight. Uh, I want to stage fight here in Dugga. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Uh, yeah, I'm on board. I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at Dugga. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple. Right? I have everything ready by 6 o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. Cool. Sounds like a good plan. Sounds like fun. Um, not sure what that has to do with uh current quest though. Hmm. What's this? I just want that guy's house key. Oh. Hey, boy. Watch the door. Nice stim pack. My jet. Yeah. Yeah, let's just take it all. Just take it all. You didn't see anything. Alright. So... I'm not sure why it's insisting that we do Confidence Man right now. Let's head back outside and try breaking into that guy's apartment. You read the paper? Damn sense. Hiding among us. Hmm. So there's a guard hanging out right in front. We are hidden. I'm just gonna quick save to be on the safe side. Let's just go for it. Oh! 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 How did I get... Stupid eyebot. Get out of here. Okay, hidden again. 
we got this. What could go wrong? That's it. All right, chaps, we made it inside. Nice. So what are we looking for? Clues to see where this guy went, right? There's a bit of a smoker. A drinker. Hmm, maybe more than a bit. Seems to be most of what he has is uh, cigarettes and alcohol. But that does tell us something. Maybe he's just off on a bender. Well, he's gonna come back to an empty home. No regrets. Typewriter and a yellow fedora. Kickball for Captain Kirk. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that doesn't tell me what I need to know. Maybe... The radio? No. The fridge? No. Captain Kirk, got any ideas, boy? Oh, what do we have here? Mega Surgery Center, Dr. Crocker, resident surgeon. One reconstruction surgery, facial. Okay, so he looks like somebody else now, it sounds like. A procedure to be performed upon clearance of final installment payment. And patient Sterling Earl. Very interesting. Alright, can we take that? Yeah. Alright, so let's go investigate the Mega Surgery Center. I'm telling you, it ain't just a story. University Point, that settlement on the coast, wiped out by since. Interesting. Alright, so... We're heading outside the wall. We've done some trading with this chap over here before, Dr. Sun. Let's see what he has to say hey, about doc. it. We offer a wide variety of medical treatments. Doctor-patient confidentiality will probably protect him, but let's see if we can uh, persuade him. Do you know anything about this receipt? Please. I really don't have time to deal with complaints or refunds right now. Dr. Crocker handles those questions. Now, I must insist we talk about your medical needs. Um, Dr. Crocker? Where is Doc Crocker? I'm a doctor, not a secretary. I'm sure he'll be around eventually. Anyway, we should get back to your immediate medical requirements. Hmm. Uh, well, you're not making this easy for me, buddy. Not today. All right. Excuse me. Let's see. So we don't have any more... You look like you need a prescription filled. We don't have any more quest markers. So, it looks like what we're going to need to do next is to break into the Mega Surgery Center. But we'll probably want it to be nighttime for that, so let's go find a place to rest. Alrighty, chaps, it is now about 1 in the morning here in Diamond City. We rested in the inn for about 14 hours. So let's just pop back out here see what we can do about getting in here. Right, we are detected. Let's just start scoping this out, because this is going to require some, uh, some advanced sneaky sneaky techniques. We should definitely quick save. We're going to have to do this very quickly when we have an opening. So we've got a patrolling iBot there. I wish I had a stealth boy for this. Hmm. Can you, like, fucking go to sleep, please? Resident? Can I wait at one of these stools? That would be ideal. No, can't. 
Gut. Hm. Hey, go to bed. Is that? Whoa, tracks of blood. <gasps> oh. There's an awful lot of blood leading into the surgery center basement. Should try and find a way down there. Interesting. Very interesting. And we are hidden. Alright, I'm gonna quick save in case somebody happens to spot us hopping in here. Just gonna quickly pick this lock. That's okay. No, not there. Middle? No. And it must be right over here. Got it. Hey, a little idiot savant never hurt anybody. Earl. You've You've really been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. Our little what mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. You're insane. Yeah, you fixed things, all right. Fixed yourself some time in the Diamond City jail cell. Jail cell? <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it, do you? <laughs> Doc Crocker isn't going to jail. He's going to go back to his surgery, where people love him. And they love him because Doc Crocker never loses patience. He just makes people happy. Holy crap, this guy is insane. So you were performing surgery, and Earl didn't make it. Is that it? I, uh, might have had just a bit of jet before operating. So I nipped a few arteries I shouldn't have. Who hasn't? But I'm a problem solver, you see. I knew if Earl disappeared, everyone would just think the Institute took him. Wow. Why would people think the Institute took Earl Sterling? That's what they do. That's what they've always done. As long as there's no body, everyone just assumes. And that's why Earl's body needs to go away. Oh, screw this. Say hi to Earl for me. Time to meet my stabbing arm. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. I'm gonna stab you again. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Oh. Oh. <clears throat> what happened? What happened? I blacked out. Is that Dr. Crocker? What happened to the Earl? What happened? What? I don't... I, why is this knife in my hand? Uh, Dr. Sun. I think you owe me an explanation. What I'm happened? I'm losing my mind. I just wake up and the knife is all bloody. I don't, I don't know. Did you know what Doc Crocker was doing down here? That's Earl Sterling's body, isn't it? Somewhere in the back of my mind, I knew he had gone through with the surgery. So, Earl didn't just vanish. The procedure went badly, and Dr. Crocker was just trying to cover it up. Hmm. What are you gonna do now, Doctor? Now? Now, I have a report to file, a mess to clean up, and a lot of explanations to give to our patients. You should get going. A medical professional should be the one to handle all this... contamination. Hmm. Interesting. Well? <laughs> that dude was insane. But uh, I think we're a little bit more insane than him. Oh my god, look at this. Looks like it'll be a closed casket funeral. What a mess. What a mess. Uh, excuse me, son. Can I... I'd like to take this loot. Can you get out of here, please? Medical liquid nitrogen dispenser. Interesting. Alright. Are you going to stay down here? Because if you're going to stay here, then I'm going to rob your shop. Excuse me, buddy. Darn it. Uh, there's too many people in this town central area for me to steal the, uh, the doctor stuff. But, 
What an interesting quest. That guy was a freaking psychopath. Oh my god. What a mess. But uh we did we did figure it out. Let's see. So now we need to go back and talk to Ellie to complete our quest. Over at the detective agency. Here we go. So, you find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Yes, I did. Um, still wrapping things up, recap. Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the Doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. Uh, not quite. I kind of blacked out and stabbed him to death. <laughs> it was either him or me. I Who had said to that? Him down. Goodness. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout in know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. Yeah, I got you, boo. Alright, so we did the disappearing act. Got 200 caps for it. Hi, Captain Kirk. Oh, aren't you cute? Aren't you cute with your little America bandana? And we uh, leveled up from that. Awesome. So let's come over to our perk tree and spend that point before we call it a day. Ooh, we could go for rank 3 of armorer. Or, do we have anything else down here? That seems like the one to do. Alright, rank 3 armorer. Awesome. Alrighty, chaps. I think that's where we're calling this one for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button for me. If you'd just like to help the channel grow, you can leave a comment. Any old comment will do. Or you can subscribe for more of my content. Either way, I will see you guys next time with more Fallout 4.